Modern ports are known to be transit area and olden bay, not a storage zone, but the reverse is the case in Nigerian ports. Today, the nation's two leading ports located in the heart of Apapa are regarded as storage area and residential environment. Lagos ports are currently congested because of warehouses and residential homes built around the ports. Other factors contributing to the congestion around the ports include bad road network, inefficient logistics system, and poor infrastructure. As the Oshodi Apapa on ending gridlock becomes a focus of international media organization and a source of concern to the global business community. The Apapa Port Road, which is the artery of the nation's non-oil economy, has been in the state of disrepair over a long period of time, with experts claiming that the nation is losing billions daily, owing to the state of dilapidation of the road as imports are trapped in the ports for days as a result of traffic gridlock generated by the bad road. Dangote Group, a pan-African conglomerate and a major stakeholder at the ports, brokered a tripartite agreement with flour mills, a leading Nigerian food company and Nigerian Ports Authority, NPA, taking over the road from the federal government and undertaking the reconstruction of the road into a lasting concrete pavement as part of their corporate social responsibility. Visiting the site, President of Dangote Group, Alaji Aliko Dangote, accompanied by the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Amefili, spoke on the progress of the road and the ease of doing business in Nigeria. We as a company too are very, really very grateful that Mr. President has approved that we build this road. Uh, if you look at it in 2018, uh, alone. 2018 and part of 2019, we paid over 30 billion naira as demurrage of our goods that we imported into the country. So you can imagine smaller companies, I don't, don't know how much they are paid, but we have lost a lot of revenue. We are, you know, people who charge us uh, container, detention fees, demurrage and all this thing. Because to get out of our papa is not easy, you know, and uh, when we built the uh, Apapa Wharf Road, uh, it did not really solve the issue. So we still have to, uh, you know, go on to complete this one. But I can assure you this portion of it, you know, which now will start right from the end of the airport, you know, road up to the toll gate will be completed by Christmas. Thank Mr. President and also thank Alaji, Alaji Dangote, uh, the president of uh, Dangote Group, um, for taking the initiative because he is leading and this is the model road where we're saying this is the first solid almost one is it 12 inches reinforced concrete roads these are the kind of things we travel abroad and we see reinforced 12 inches concrete roads this is a 40 kilometer road five lanes on both sides which is a total of 10 lane roads you know and and it is a good thing for this country because when you talk about the ease of doing business you can imagine a situation where for several years, years, people have been complaining about the ease of clearing and transporting their goods out of Apopa port. And I'm very delighted that Alaji Dankote has taken the initiative to say, listen, our port is important. Clearing of goods from our port is very important. And even after clearing your goods from the port, there should be a solid road where these trucks can pass through and make life easy for people. This road certainly will open up Nigeria. This road will open up Lagos. You can imagine a 10-kilometer road with electricity that will flow through it all through the night. This is no doubt a laudable initiative from the private sector, being championed by Dangote Group that will bring back the glory days of the Apapa ports and stimulate economic growth for the nation generally. Alero Didiare Iwoha, reporting for Rise News.